Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Unix. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn meta characters. In my previous tutorials, you might have seen how to perform the shell, shell programming using special characters and other commands. In today's tutorial, we are going to extend that topic with the meta characters. So let's start. What are the meta characters? Meta characters are the special characters in, un in Unix which has special meaning. For example, question mark. It, ma it matches with a single character while listing files in a directory. So if you want to ch check the files and if you forget the any of the character, you can use the question mark and it will replace any character. Asterisk sign. It matches more than one character. If you don't know the name of complete file or if you don't know the beginning of the file, you can just put the asterisk sign in that and you will give it will give any character. A character may be quoted by preceding it with a, a backward slash. <coughs> in case suppose you want to print a dollar sign, a question mark, a asterisk sign, it will not print as is unless you use a backslash before it because this character has special meaning in unix then what are the meta characters the meta characters are listed here asterisk sign question mark open rectangle bracket close rectangle bracket single quote double quote backslash dollar comma ampersand simple open bracket close open bracket pipe tilt uh, not tilt. It's a, it's a kind of tilt. The less than and greater than symbol and the new line tab space etc. So these are the uh, meta character has a special meaning. That's the reason if you use this special character in your programming, the program might behave differently. So make sure you're using properly. For example, here if you print echo hello, then backward slash comma world what it will print whether it will print backslash or not we have the another example where the echo we are going to print i have amount in saving account backslash dollar one five zero zero so here the comma and the dollar characters we are going to print as is and we'll see in our unix example in order to demonstrate that i have created few uh, shell files so let me open that. So if you see, I have just exactly copied the same content. Hello, backward slash comma, world, and echo. I have amount in same account, backslash dollar, one five zero zero. If you notice, color has changed if you use the backslash. If you do not use backslash, it, it must be in red. But if you use the backslash, that immediate character is treated differently and if it is meta character then the backslash will be treated to print that special character let me execute this program by that way by that way you'll be understand little more now we can see hello then backslash is not printed instead it just printed comma and the wall is the same case with the in the next line just dollar is printed and the not the backslash so that is the use of the meta character. It definitely has its own meaning, but if you want to use those, you have to use the backslash. Let's learn learn some more things about the meta character. What are the options available? Options we have here listed for single quote, double quote, backslash, back quote. Back code is something like the single code, but you can see that back code just in, in if you are using English style or American style keyboard, the back code is listed inside the tilt. Or if you are using um, Windows system or uh, the Dell Dell laptop, then you will see the above the tab button. What is single code? All special characters between these codes lose their special meaning so that means these are printed as is double quotes more special characters between these quotes lose their special meaning with these exception so 
put the special character or meta characters in double code it will print as is except if you are going to print if you are going to use dollar uh, a back code backslash dollar backslash single code backslash double code and backslash black slash that is double black slash this has special meaning even if you use in the double code then the backslash any character immediately following the backslash loses its a special meaning that we have just saw the dollar was printed as is the single quote printed as is because of the backslash back quote anything in between the back quotes would be treated as a command and will be executed so what are the command you are going to provide you can provide in the back quotes it will be executed as is let's see one example on that let me before going to that let me show you what example we are going to see so this is the example where the single quote is getting used we are going to echo some command as we know there are some special characters such as backslash dollar asterisk sign so in order to print that we have to use the backslash you can see the backslash for the less than backslash for dollar backslash for asterisk backslash for asterisk etc and this is this echo statement will print echo and we are going to um, execute some command in single quote here important thing to notice if single quote appears within a string to be output here it is appearing output you should not put the whole string within the single quote instead you should proceed with the using single quote so that means whenever the a single quote is getting used in your sentence don't use this single quote at the start and end it will not work it will complain so that's the reason we have to remove that we'll see that in example and the example is meta care to if you remember if you say so we are going to print this like 1500 update why no this, this is just like echo statement to show you guys how this backspace works with special characters use of quotes if you use a single quote if you see the uh, this is the back code single quote is like this is the single quote and the back code is like this so we are using a back code in order to execute the command which host name so this will print the host name this this will execute as a command and it will print the host name rather than printing its a plain content and if you notice it's a shell programming this is a single code is getting used in this line so we cannot use the at the end and start the single code because it is getting used already i will save this and i will execute for you guys so now we can see it is printed very properly the content also the which host name prints the actual uh, executed and the actual uh, the output is printed here its shell programming is printed properly also as we are not using single code at the start and end let's try to use at start and end i'm going to edit this file and after you go i will use single code and also at the end I will use that single code and let's see what happens now you will get the error something like this end of file looking for matching so that's the reason um, in order to avoid such errors just remove that single code from the beginning and at the end whenever you want you can use this backslash and the single code it will print properly let's learn some more things now uh, we have seen a couple of things like how to use single quote how to use meta character so this example will illustrate how to use single quote as well as the double quote what we are doing here we have defined a variable with initialized value with a techno guru then we are printing echo where one odds like 1000 less than 1000 as of date and we are printing date if you notice this this content is printed in the single code so this will print as is nothing will change because 
these characters will not be treated as a special character if you use it in the single code but if you use those in this double code some of the character will not be uh, some of the special meta character will be treated as a special and the example is dollar so dollar has a special meaning so that will will keep as is and that is the exception we have seen so dollar var1 will print the actual value of var1 that is it will print techno guru os as the like simple text and then the uh, simple content and as of and then we are printing into the back code if you see the back code we are printing the date at that moment so it will print actual date rather than the content and this is the best example where we are using single code special characters with meaning double code with the special character with meaning and without meaning etc so let me execute this program i'll show you how it works before executing let me show you what it contains so as you, as i said it contains a variable with initialized value techno guru then echo var1 owes like 1000 as of the date value and this is just going to print it will not treat any character in special way echo var1 owes and this will execute separately what are the present in the back code it will print or it will get executed where will also have the special meaning you can see the color has changed you can immediately notice that the behavior of the content i'm going to execute this and you'll see so at the very first line you'll see the actual content that is the because it's just single code nothing will replace it will print as is Techno Guru O's that is means where one replaced with the actual value O's then the actual uh, the value the 1000 and as of if you see it printed the actual date so this is the current date of this system and it is going to print as it's if you have if you want a different pattern you can change the pattern here it will print accordingly so you have to just update the file for this pattern and that pattern date will be printed similarly you can execute any command and get the output on the console so this is uh, another aspect about the meta characters there are some important notes for double quotes double quotes take away the special meaning of all character except following dollar for parameter substitution means this character in the double quote even if you use dollar it will be treated with its special meaning back quotes for the command substitution backslash dollar to enable literal dollar sign that means if you want to print a dollar as a symbol you have to use a backslash backslash back quote to enable literal back quote backslash double quote to enable embedded double quote to print the double quote backslash backslash to in enable embedded backslash in if you want to use the backslash as output then you have to use it two times all other backslash characters are literal not special so these are the only special character dollar back quotes backslash dollar backslash single uh, back quote backslash double quote two backslashes these are the only special character treated in the double quote rest of the all meta characters are treated as a literal back code example here is an example for the back code shell command in between back code executed the command like if you're using var and then equal to sign and the back code command it will act as a command and it will execute it for example if you use the current date as a variable and assign a date if you want to assign a current date you have to use in the date command in the sync back code echo current date and it will print the current date and these are the details about the meta character i hope you enjoyed this session and you must have learned a couple of things about the meta characters which are getting used in unix if you have any questions or queries or any other top question uh, questions about any other topic in the techno world you can definitely mention in this comment comment line comment comment section of this video thank you for watching this video have a nice time